In this tutorial, we will look at how can we export Selenium ID test cases to C Sharp and how can we run them from Visual Studio. If you want to know how I created this test and test suite, please check my channel where I have in detail tutorials on how to do this. This is the test suite we want to export. Let's go to Options, select Export. On this window, we can select the language and as you can see, we have multiple options like C Sharp or Java. Let's go on with C Sharp and N unit and click on Export button. Now is the time to set the name for our test suite. Click on Save and that's it. We just exported the Selenium ID test cases. Now let's go to Visual Studio. First step here is to create a new project. To do that, go File, select New, create a new project. Here, let's search for class library and select class library.net framework. Click on Next. Set the project name. And click on Create. So we just created our first testing project and now is the time to add the Selenium test cases to this project. To do this, right click on the project, select Add, now navigate to the path where Selenium suite is saved and click on Add. This was added to our test project and as you can see, we have some errors. To fix those errors, Right click on the project, select Manage NuGet Packages, and make sure on the Browse tab you search first for Selenium WebDriver, click on Install, after the installation is done, Let's install also any unit dependencies. So again, similar. This time we search after n unit and click install. We also need an unit test adapter. Click on it and select install. After dependencies were installed, let's switch back to our class and check the errors. Okay, so now we don't have any other errors. Let's go and rebuild our solution. Check the output. Everything is OK. To run the test cases, let's go to Test and open Test Explorer. We are in Test Explorer now. We can see all of our test cases. To run them, just go and click on Run All Tests. The test cases are running now and we see we have some errors. Let's click on a test. So we have to fix first this error, which is about the expected browser binary location. Let's switch to our test class and in setup method, we reconstruct the Firefox driver. We have to do some changes. To fix that error, I just added those lines of code. So I created the Firefox options. Then I set the browser executable location and I passed these options when I'm creating the Firefox drivers. Let's rebuild again the solution, go back to Test Explorer and give it another try. Test case is now started to run. The browser was created and everything seems to be fine. 
as we can see, both test cases are passed. Thank you very much for your time and see you at the next one. Bye.